Hi all, it's Angry Admin here, and today I'm going to show you how to uninstall HP SimpliVity plugin from your vCenter. HP SimpliVity is hyper-converged solution which drives me absolutely bollocks, and I am happy to get rid of it. So let's do it. As you can see, this is the plugin, and the plugin shows some errors. It's because I already uninstalled it, and I rebuild the host to standalone host, and now I need to clean up the vCenter. Uh, to do so, we need to SSH to vCenter itself. Depending on the vCenter configuration, you may not see bash shell after you log in. All you see is the command prompt. So all you need to do is to type in shell, press enter, and we're ready to go. Now we have to CD to location for the plugin. I kept it as the default, but if you change that one, you have to go to your respective directory. So we are in the directory, we list it, and we see three plugins. They usually should be only one, the newest one, but in my case, I had three of them, uh, three versions of the plugins, um, which usually it's not the case. Usually you will have only one, the newest one, as I said before. Um, but we have to do uninstall them one by one now. So we cd to the directory of the oldest one. Then we list content of that directory. And you see the uninstall file. So we run uninstallation now. Just like this. Hit enter. And now we have to confirm by typing Y. And the installation process starts. Uh, it will run for a while, so I will just speed up the process. Confirm by pressing enter. And if we list, we see that directory is empty. We going one back and then we going to another one. And we repeat the process. Once the process is finished, the plugin will be uninstalled. However, we need to take care of the packages because this process doesn't remove packages. And I will show you how to do it in a few moments. To remove packages, we need to stop services. And to find out the services, we go to the bin uh, and then we put a command, which is service dash control dash dash list to list all the services running. And we are interesting in the two of them, which is a vSphere UI and vSphere client. Those two services needs to be stopped. And obviously once you do that, vCenter will not be accessible for the time being. To stop services, we just simply type in a new command services dash control dash dash stop and the name of the service, which in this case is vSphere dash client. That's the first one. We press enter. It will take a while again. And another one will be the same, but we just change for vSphere UI. Now, when we have both our services stopped, we can continue to location of packages and we will be removing packages manually. So what you need to do is to CD to do two locations. One is for vSphere client and one is for vSphere UI. And as you can see, um, this is the ETC VMware vSphere client VC packages and vSphere client Serenity. And if we list content, we should see the plugin over there. There's lots of few, quite few plugins we are using now, but I don't see actually SimpliVity plugin here, which means that the process worked and it removed packages, which is great. 
and it was the case in the older version maybe in this version it is um, anyway this should be one and if it's not that's nothing to remove okay then let's check the ui uh, location for packages and i hope it will be the same case and um, so let's list and I have a look, and yes, yes, that's the case. Okay, so it removes packages, but just remember, um, just if you do so, just check that location, the both locations, because if you have a different version, or you may have different um, environment, and for some reasons, you may still have that package. Um, let's start services now. Um, so just simply like, just type start and press enter. Now, this will take a time also, um, for both services, so we are starting from UI and then we'll be putting up the client. So let me speed up the video a bit. As you can see, my session has been terminated, so I have to re log in to the center, um, which I'll be doing now. And after I log in, you shouldn't see any plugins so let's say let's see if that's the case a few moments to log in and you just go and this is behind the screen but you see the content there you are there was a plugin now it's gone so we successfully uninstalled the hp plugin however this is not the end because we have some leftovers in MOB, which is managed object browser, and we have to clean this up. And I don't know, or I don't have any automatization for it. So I'll show you how to do it manually. If you guys know a better way, please let me know in the comment section and let's see how it's done. To uninstall any of the plugins, you go to the content. And then you go to Extension Manager, not only for Simplicity, but any of the plugins, if you have something unwanted here. Just be careful not to mess up, because this is a serious thing. Okay, so let's see. We have a few of those extensions for Simplicity. We go to the first one, which is 7.8b, and we copy the whole name of it. And once you copy that, you go back, and we use something called Unregister Extension. And you put the value, which you copy over here, and you press on Evoke method. It's a few seconds, and we have that extension void. So you just close that window, the pop-up window up, and then we still see it, so we have to refresh the browser, just press F5, refresh it, and it's gone. So you see, that was 7, 8B, it's gone. Let's see with that one. 77 ending copy the extension name go back we use unregister extension we copy the value paste value here invoke method void close the pop-up window refresh the browser actually i went one one further and we go to more and that's it. It's gone, though. I will have a, I have a few more to go, but for now, that's it. Um, if you like that content, please click on like and subscribe. If you have any questions or you want to add something, please leave the comment. And see you guys in the next one.